Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna do a breakdown of the stickers post cutting um, because most of the time I'm just showing you how to do stickers in design space, but this one, we're gonna go through all the different types of stickers that we have from Needle Products. All right, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and now let's get into it. Okay, so I broke it down into three. I cut the same stickers so that you can see the difference, okay? And then this I have on purple paper. So the first one that I put on here, I cut um, my little rainbow in hollow. So this is the holographic sticker paper. This is the white glossy that I use almost for everything. And then this is the clear sticker paper. And first off, you can tell because the hollow paper is gonna have that gray holographic sheen to it. As soon as you pick it up, you know it when you see it, okay? The white glossy, you can feel it. It's super smooth, okay? And uh, and it's bright white. The clear sticker paper, you can feel right away. It's more of a matte feel. Um, it's still smooth, but like more, more matte. I don't know how else to describe it, okay? And when you first cut the stickers, you might not notice the difference because um, the clear sticker paper is on a white background. So it's going to look very similar. And let me pick up the same size. Here, I'll pick up these two. It, these two are gonna look very similar until you peel it off and put it on paper, okay? So on this purple one, and I don't have my light on because with the paper, it just gives you a glare, but I'm gonna try to pick it up to catch the light so that you can see the difference, okay? So this row right here is the, the hollow, okay? Holographic. I'm gonna put the white on here. So I would say off right off the bat between these two, and you can't tell right now that much, the holographic, because it's that silver, it makes everything look a little bit darker. Like if you look at, this is the same printer, same settings, um, everything's the same except for the sticker paper, okay? So the holographic and the white glossy. Um, I feel like the white glossy is just, the whole thing feels brighter because the, the white space is, is brighter, it's glossy, right? Um, all right, so let me show you what the clear sticker paper is gonna look like. So right now, these two look the same, right? But what happens is anything that is white, what happened here? Anything that is white is gonna be clear, okay? So here's what it looks like before I place it down. So what normally would have been white is now clear, which is gonna take the color of your background. So whatever paper that you put it on, whatever would have been white is now gonna be the, the colored paper, okay? So. Okay, so now you have a really good difference. Uh, this is clear sticker paper, white glossy, and holographic. And as I move it, you can, you can get a feel for the hollow. Um, and you can kind of see in the pile right here, the holographic, it's got that metallic uh, silver sheen to it, right? All right, so that's that one. Let's do the smack sticker. The other thing that I wanna point out is, and I kept it on here, is this paper, um, how should I explain this? Okay, let me explain it on this one first. So on all of these, on the rainbow and a few others, I cut it so that you can kind of see there's a lip to the paper, so it's easy peel, right? Because the sticker doesn't go all the way to the edge. Let me find one that's a little bit easier to see, maybe with my smack sticker. So, um, nope, that's not a good one to show you. <laughs> I take it back, maybe this one. So you can see the blue right there, and then here's my sticker. Oops, what happened here? Right, there's a little lip to it. It's easier to peel off. Because a lot of times what happens is when you cut, you cut right up to the sticker and then you're trying to peel off the sticker. This one has the, the extra cut. So that's when we do the offset. We do three copies of it, right? I cut all of them the same. Now, the holographic paper is the thickest paper. I almost had a hard time peeling it off. You can kind of see where it's the paper didn't cut cleanly. This, I would do four copies of the offset because the paper's thicker. I would actually, you know what, I take that back. What I would do is 
I would just cut it twice. I would do it the same way that, that we did in Design Space, except instead of um, hitting the like eject button, I would hit the C button for it to cut one more time so that my clear part gets cut a little bit better as well. All right, this one works perfectly fine. The, the glossy works perfectly fine with the three offsets. This one, I would probably do less pressure. You can kind of see my sticker almost cut through, right? So the um, the clear paper is the thinnest of the of the three. So it goes from thinnest, regular, to super thick. So this one needs more cut, like either cut it again or do more pressure. I didn't get to try it. I only tried it this one time. Okay, let's go to the smack sticker. So the smack sticker on Haldo, you can kind of see, right? It's kind of dark. And then I did a sticker of my brother. <laughs> um, so in person, it's got that silver. So it's just a darker color. It's a beautiful sticker, but I almost feel like um, I don't know when I would use the holographic just yet. Other than the fact that the paper itself is really pretty, I, I'm not sure which one would work best yet. Okay, so I'm gonna compare the white one, what that looks like. So here is my brother and you can see he's wearing a white t-shirt so on this one right away you can see it's just lighter right and his face has a lighter complexion like a lighter tone to it because the background of the paper is white glossy okay all right so I'm gonna put this down and then I'm gonna put my smack sticker and then I'm going to post this to Instagram so that you can see um, the difference. Well, you can see it right now inside. I'm going to try to take a picture outside as well. All right, so here's my sticker. And you can see I look lighter, right? Because it's it's printed on that, um, on the white glossy. All right, let's go to the clear. So the clear, you can see this almost came out. And this one didn't have an offset. So just on one, one cut, I almost cut through the whole thing. So on this one, because it's clear, it's taking the, the purple background to it. So you can kind of see this one looks actually just, it looks even darker than the hollow because the hollow has a silver, silver um, uh, lean towards it, but this has a purple lean towards it because of the paper. All right, and then the last one is my brother in clear. So this should, his t-shirt should change. And see this one, I did a lip, but because it's so thin, it cut through everything. It's like I don't have a lip because look at that. This would have been the lip, but now I'm back to this. So I'm trying to peel it off, okay? So here's what he, he looks like. It's transparent, right, basically. So the camo is transparent, even though the camo on here is like a light green. On here, it almost looks like it's see-through-y, okay? So there you have it, that's the difference. So again, the, the, the clear sticker paper is the thinnest, so keep that in mind when you're cutting. This one is, I'm gonna say it's the regular, it's in the middle. This one is going to be thicker. So just keep that in mind when you're cutting. So, um, and I'm gonna turn on the light to give you maybe a contrast a little bit. So the hollow is really showing through right now. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous in person. It's hard to capture it on camera. And then the white is the one I use for 95% of the time. And the clear has its purpose. I just almost always between the two, I always lean towards the white one. All right, so you've got the sticker tutorial complete now. All right, let me know, comments, questions. I wanna make a point. So someone had asked me, why do I do three offsets to cut that lip? And she suggested, why don't I just change one of my settings? Here's why. I thought it was a good idea because when she brought it up, I was like, oh, that's pretty genius. But there's a reason why that doesn't work. When you go to print and cut, however many layers you have, right? So normally we have the sticker and then we have the three offsets. So we have four layers cutting. When you do print and cut, all the number of layers, they all cut on the same setting. So I don't get to choose the setting. And because I want one to cut through just the sticker paper, 
the top layer and then I want the other offset to cut through the through both layers of the sticker paper I can't assign a different um, cut to each layer so that's why you need to do the three if you want something to cut through more than one time like cut deeper you got to do another layer of the offset so I hope that makes sense let me know what you think I will see you guys next time bye